Hi, it's Mike from the Mike James Rock Show, and this fine gentleman from Bad I'm, Religion is I'm, going to introduce himself. I'm Brian Baker. I'm in Bad Religion. Uh, first question I'm going to put to you is where? The, no, I'm not going to ask you where the band name comes from. We were just talking about that off air. <laughs> yeah. um, welcome to Slam Dunk UK. <laughs> it's, it's great to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you did. You did the uh, the Leeds one yesterday. Yes. How did that go down? Uh, it was it was damp. <laughs> it's uh, up north. It's bound to be. <laughs> it was damp. It was it was a little more northern. Uh, people were enthusiastic. Cool. Uh, and I learned that my ability to understand a Yorkshire dialect is very limited. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult. Or if if you struggle with me, because I'm from right down in the West Country, proper no, farm got, country. I've, you're fine. That's you, cool. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, how are the new songs going? Uh, going going down basically with the the British crowd at the moment. Um, they're going down really well. Cool. And. I'm really happy about that because I really hate going to see an old venerable band. It's like, and here's our new record. That's like when you go get a beer. Yeah. Uh, so the way we avoid that is by not announcing when one's coming. That's a good ploy. And uh, we just play, you know, three or four, and people are really digging it. I'm very excited about it. It's nice, it, nice to remain somewhat relevant. That's cool because you, you have got the longevity of it. I'd hate to use the word, but a, a legacy band almost now, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, and the music industry is pretty much turned itself inside out and upside down since the time you started and to yep. be, still have tracks that are coming, are coming across and being relevant for people it must be such a buzz for you as well yeah well i i it's it's awesome yeah and i i blame the songwriters because they're good <sighs> that's that's yeah. that's a good thing though that you, yeah. you're still writing these good tunes even this far into your career where some bands that are this far into a career are kind of just padding it out till retirement well, kind you, of thing yeah, you still you, seem hungry for it uh, I don't you know I guess there's a thing you don't want to be a heritage act and yeah, that to okay, me yeah. is you're you're going to supply a soundtrack that reminds the audience of when they were young and cool yeah um, and I think we've uh, kind of tried to establish a little higher bar than that and I think it's the nature of the things bad religion is always written about I mean when you're talking about um, you know, global strife. It's not quite the same as you know that GTI Mark IV that you had, <laughs> yeah. and how much fun you had with a Strongbow. You know, it's a little different. So, and I guess as well, when, when you started, it's pretty much the same global struggles, just more heightened now as well. So, the the subject matter of, of the the songs that you're writing, there's no still end. There. There's nothing. There's no end to being able to write about religious persecution yeah. and uh, people in high places doing the exact opposite of what they're supposed to do. That's That will be this way for time immemorial. Is this, it, does it mean now that you, you are still hungry to get your perception of the world out there after this album cycle? Or, you know, like we said, you are quite well into your career now. Are you starting to think of slowing down the, the well, process or anything we, like that? We don't... Uh, we don't overwork. Okay. Um, we do this because we like it, yeah. and it's still a great time. Um, and we play maybe at the most a hundred shows a year. Oh right, okay. Um, and the thing about being a band with our long history is that we don't really need to put out records. They come out organically, and so we're not bound to an album cycle. Like right. here's your new album. Now you're going to spend, you know, you're going to develop new markets in the Midwest of the United States. It's like, no, I'm not. I, I'm not trying to develop a new market. I'm trying to have a great time and yeah. play to people who are moved by our music. And so that's a great place to be, but it means that we tour as we please. I guess as well, you've got such uh, iconic logos and, and branding that yeah. it can, you, like you said, you've done 100 shows in a year, but it could look like in the press and media and all that kind of thing that you are doing a lot more because your logo stands out so, yeah, so I, well. I highly recommend a good logo for any band that's starting out. Yeah. Do, you, do you think that's that's quite pivotal now? Because as soon as you become a band, you, you're instantly a brand and you have to think about logos and your name and you know, where you're going to pitch yourself and that's stuff. That's a good question. I'm not as familiar with brand new bands and if they're logo based or not. I, okay. I don't really know. Um, ours is just accidental. When you were a punk band in, the, in 1980 yeah. in America, that you just did that. That was your gang. Was your Black Flag bars, your Minor Threat sheet, yep. or the Bad Religion Crossbuster? I mean, that was like, we weren't thinking about marketing. It was more, this looks cool on my jacket. What's That's it? the whole yeah. point of it. Yeah, so. and, and you'd, you'd go and buy albums in those days. Yeah. just for the artwork and that's how you discover bands well of course because yeah. we you know our ex our access to punk was so limited my time washington dc there was one record store and it was basically dependent on what he could order just based on looking at him and so you it was all kind of a crapshoot you know but i mean that's how uh 
that's how we learned yeah yeah it's, it's proper diy as it as it used to be and uh, yeah. i guess nowadays you, you incorporate what there is social media wise and press and things like that to still have the same ethos and using that diy ethic but just using the bit greater tools that are around you being yeah. it's cell phones it, it, and whatnot it definitely helps if people can see uh a picture of a band or see the logo and in one second be listening to one of their songs that's crazy that is it's, you it's want to talk the, about spreading the gospel that is an, a perfect storm for that so I, I like that aspect of it I use it all the time too I love seeing you know who's that band ah that's who they are yeah someone tags something on social media and it is it's, it's there it's them yeah, yeah. And you, you, not just the, that track they're talking about you can go and have the entire back catalogue downloaded yeah. in seconds it's, and, and it's great I, I think it's cool and it's uh, you know it's not like things are going to be different I mean the time to be crappy about that is so long past <laughs> it's silly how do you find the, the, the new era where so many bands and artists are have to give away so much for free just to try and make some sort of general uh take home I guess I, I would hate to be a new band trying to make a dent um, we're you know our band is is kind of we're not really susceptible to that sort of thing yeah. we're, again we're not like we're not really being marketed and we're uh, you know an institution uh, so we kind of don't have to worry so much about that but god the competition is just must be so difficult and it seems a lot of people listen with their eyes uh, okay, rather yeah. than their ears and I mean that's just the way things are now but uh, so that's going to be a whole different dynamic I mean that's you know there's a lot of music that that I've I've seen somebody and was like okay that person looks cool I wonder what that is yeah and then the music is 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 terrible because the music's not important it's about the the it's about the look it's the SoundCloud rapper okay, okay yeah it's that kind of thing like what your 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 name and the combination of face tattoos and things tied in your hair is more important than the music which style over substance that, yeah I mean and that's that's great for people who enjoy that but what that that whole mixed cloud and SoundCloud type thing is also progressed is that tracks are a lot shorter nowadays so that yeah. people got less attention spans uh, does that not feed into the, the punk thing because a lot of punk songs back in the day were three minutes short angry bursts oh we like. are we have songs that are a minute five seconds still yeah uh, well I hope it plays into it but I, I will say that one thing I really do like about this whole SoundCloud thing yeah people can do it at their house they can they do it with a phone yeah and that is awesome to have the luxury to be able to create something so simply when you want to is is was completely different when we were starting out you really had to do a it was it was a mysterious black art and you had to book a special place and all, <laughs> you know it just wasn't the same and I, I really envy the fact that artists can just immediately create it's cool get it out there and there, yeah. are, there are so many different markets that are opened up as well and it's instantaneous whereas say you'd have to work in the like uh, the northeast of America and then right. you have to go to the other side and back and forth yeah. nowadays you can just do it all and open up a territory in Asia and all sorts if you've got a yeah. fan that's willing to put all that effort in for you it's, it's it's there isn't it it is it's awesome uh what's the next sort of like the rest of the year got planned for you guys um we're gonna spend some time in the u.s nice. uh we haven't been there in a while we we've been we characteristically come over uh we play shows in europe in the festival season um pretty much every year because it's awesome we yeah. love we love it and it's uh and it fits the time frame uh, of when we, how long we can be away, um, but we haven't done a proper U.S. tour since 2016, and we're like, wow. we, we need to go. You know, we're having some problems over there. We should probably go play. So we're going to do some extensive touring in the U.S., uh, and then we have, uh, we're going to Australia at the end of the year, uh, and then next year it all begins again. Okay. And we'll be back over here for sure. We're going to do a proper U.K. tour. Uh, we're going to. Uh, hopefully get to Ireland again and we've only been one time I find that amazing to me the, the Irish really appreciate it as well when yeah. bands do come over uh, yeah, everyone man. turns out for it you know and I've been friends with Jake Burns for so long that it's like I just cannot believe that I don't go up and pay tribute to Stiff Little Fingers arguably the best Irish punk band ever okay yeah yeah awesome well there we go yeah well it's been an absolute pleasure catching up with you uh, hopefully we will be able to see you when you come back for the tour next year I would love it and uh, well yeah we'll catch up again then thanks very much man cheers thanks very much for watching our little interview with Bad Religion like they said they're back next year hopefully we'll be able to interview them again then uh, oh, oh no no this is the only time that's the only time uh, in that case Sorry. 
there'll be other interviews up on our YouTube channel. Hit the like, subscribe and notification bell and you can see all of our other interviews, just not another one with bad religion. Welcome to the My James Rock Show.